A New Mexico congresswoman has introduced a bill that would offer temporary asylum to Canadians protesting vaccine mandates as the Freedom Convoy clears out. This weekend, Ottawa police towed nearly 100 vehicles and arrested close to 200 activists. Congresswoman Yvette Harrell says the country's reaction is similar to that of authoritarian regime like Venezuela. And she joins us now. Congresswoman, welcome. I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, I just interviewed somebody who was an eyewitness um, there at, at, the, at the convoy protest and said that he believes that they are using police brutality to yeah. incite and provoke the uh, truckers in order to justify this crackdown on their rights to protest and oppose the government. Right, you, absolutely. You couldn't be more correct. And actually, to see uh, Trudeau introducing this Emergencies Act, this is way out of line, and it is. It's heavy-handed. It's a crackdown, and issues like this do not deserve or warrant what he's trying to do. And they haven't invoked something this serious since World War One, World War Two. And truly, this is an attack on those who want to peacefully protest and protect. Really, at the end of the day, our freedom. So you're offering asylum. What does that look like? Or your bill so, will? Yeah. So the language in the bill is offering temporary asylum, just as we do uh, political asylum for those from Venezuela and other countries. And what it would do is let's give them asylum. Let's protect them from their heavy-handed government. This is ridiculous to see their bank accounts being frozen, their assets being frozen. It makes no sense. But let's provide temporary asylum until their government will stop using this Emergencies Act and, and threatening these peaceful protesters. Yeah, you know, it is so similar to what you see in, in Cuba, in, in Russia, um, and especially in China. And you mentioned the financial warfare that is being waged against the, not just the truckers, but anyone who wants to send um, a donation. They're being threatened with their livelihood. And as you said, they're using these emergency um, powers uh, that they say are te uh, temporary, um, but we never know how temporary they are. Are you worried that some of these tactics that are using by, being used by Canada, um, with the exception of a few people like you who are really calling out the authoritarianism, that this is going to bleed into the way America operates? I mean, you're seeing some of the same words like, oh, they're insurrectionists, they're white supremacists, they're Trump supporters. That's what they're calling some of the truckers as well. I do. And that's why I think it's so important that we stand for freedom. I mean, you know, and I know freedom isn't free, but it's so precious and we have to stand for it. And we need to send a message that we're not going to, we are not going to accept this, this re regime type government, not in Canada, not in America, because these are peaceful protests. And it doesn't matter what side of the issue you are on. The fact that we have always been a nation, and so is Canada, of a country that can peaceful protest, that we can gather. And if we let the government get away with this, this is coming to a country near you, and we have to stand for freedom at this point. Congresswoman, thank you so much for bringing this issue to light and for introducing this bill that hopefully will help the truckers and bring more attention um, to the really authoritarian and Cuba, Venezuela-like tactics of the Canadian government. Thank you, Congresswoman. Always a pleasure to have you.